Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video for Minecraft Dungeons. Already my third one today, but I just keep going because there is so much stuff to talk about and I really love you guys. But at the same time, of course, I think it's a very good time right now to talk about the new enchantments, which you'll be able to get your hands on on the Hidden Depths DLC update. These enchantments are free for every single one of you guys. Starting now, you will find them on every new piece of armor, every new weapon. So let's check it out right now. Before we get started, it would be very much appreciated if you could just hit that like button as I spent a lot of time working on these videos. Of course, if you enjoy watching my content, don't hesitate to subscribe. It is entirely free. Also, a huge thanks to all the members who are currently supporting this channel. You guys are the best. Alright, so we are once again in the base camp. Starting from today, this one is gonna start looking a little bit different, guys, because I just installed a very awesome new texture mod that pretty much changes the entire biome from this camp to Taiga. So if you want to check it out yourself as well, it's in the top right of the screen. I did a showcase earlier today, so definitely make sure to check it out. Anyways, guys, we have five new enchantments. One of them can actually be found on both ranged and melee. So I already found all the different enchantments pretty much. I have them in my inventory right here so let's start off with the garden strike garden strike is an awesome new tanky enchantment when you defeat a mob you're given a temporary shield that reduces the damage by 50 percent this one goes up to four second shield duration on the maximum tier that is probably going to work very well in a tanky build in combination with other enchantments and artifacts so this coral blade is only power level 36 so let's just enchant it one tier so we'll be able to check it out in combat all right so here we are in the creeper woods. When we kill a zombie, of course, after three strikes, I will have a little shield. Let's do that again. So you can see this little yellow thing hovering around me for just two seconds, of course, because it's the first tier. But then when we stand right in front of the zombie, of course, we will take less damage. So normally they hit us with 40 damage. Let's see what happens when I uh, do this again. So right now it's only 20 damage. So I just cranked it up to tier 3 right now. If I kill a zombie, guys, I can actually stand in the middle of a fight. And um, the shield will not go away after a hit. So it pretty much stays for an entire 4 seconds. So that means if I just keep destroying mobs, then the shield will be active 24-7. Which is, in my opinion, really awesome. So basically, the guarding strike, in my opinion, is an improved version of the Ironhide Amulet. Of course, you're going to have to sacrifice a weapon enchantment slot for it. But the Ironhide Amulet is also an effect that gives you a major boost to defense for a short time. The duration is actually pretty long so it's also a really awesome one to have but of course if you can put this on your weapon you can go for another artifact so I think it's definitely an interesting one to test out for tanky builds. Next up we have refreshment. Defeating a mob reduces their health potions cooldown time allowing you to heal again more quickly and this one also gives you a couple of seconds reduced cooldown on the maximum tier so if you upgrade this one to the maximum tier, it decreases the cooldown by 3 seconds after every deleted mob. So that is pretty impressive, right? You will be able to pretty much spam that potion 24-7. And the cool thing is you can actually also find this on ranged weapons. So on my sugar rush, I also found it exactly the same effect three seconds after every mob killed. And the funny thing is I actually already showcased this earlier today because I was playing around a little bit with my sparkler and cake armor. So uh, let's just equip those guys. Seriously, this one has a refreshment enchantment built in. And then on the sweet tooth, we also have the potion barrier. So on this little fragment, you'll be able to see how powerful the combination of cooldown reduction on your potion is. Alright, so here we are. Let's search for some moves. First off, I'm gonna use my ranged weapon, the Sugar Rush, to show you guys how awesome this cooldown reduction on the potion is. So um, I'm just gonna use the potion right now and use my overcharged bow. And bam, look at that, how quick the cooldown drops. This is actually also an enchantment which I have on my sparkler. So uh, right now I'm just gonna use that one with the death cap mushroom. And look at that guys, we already have a potion on cooldown, which is extremely powerful. And guys, seriously, without doubt, this is gonna be one of the most powerful enchantments which will be able to get your hands on for the maximum apocalypse plus difficulty. Because um, right now, when we use a potion, we have a minus 90% reduced damage taken. So um, of course you can tell that we are extremely tanky right now. If we just kill all these moves for a second, Look at that, it instantly restores our potion cooldown. We can pretty much keep doing this, so uh, we keep refreshing our shields. So we are extremely tanky, guys. This is probably gonna be something I'm gonna start working on with uh, a new build very soon. 
So now you guys are probably thinking that was the best for this video. Well, guys, you are wrong. The Hidden Depths DLC update brings us so many awesome enchantments. So let's check out the third one. On number three, we have the Rush. Rush increases the movement speed for one second after taking damage. And guys, this is pretty awesome because we also had the Rush Down enchantment on the melee weapon from uh, the Howling Peaks DLC. Every time after killing a mob, you will get this crazy movement speed buff. Well, if you combine that with Rush, your movement speed is gonna be insane. So let's just crank this one up to the maximum tier, equip this piece of armor and see if we can actually find one of those weapons as well. I think I got rid of every single one of them the resolute tap is nice but uh, nevertheless we're just gonna check it out like this and I think the Hidden Depths DLC levels are perfect for this because um, you won't move very far underwater. But every time when you get hit by some mobs, well, look at how fast this movement speed goes. I really like it. Sometimes with the baby zombies, it doesn't work like a charm. But uh, then you just show them who's boss and continue your way through the level. So once again, I think the Rush enchantment is going to work very well in combination with the Rush Down built-in enchantment on the Resolute Tempest Knife. Anyways, moving on to enchantment number four. And for that, we're once again gonna take a look at my Sugar Rush bow, which I found yesterday. So on this one, we have the Overcharge enchantment, pretty much called Multi-Charge on the patch notes. Continue to hold the ranged attack button to double, triple, or even quadruple the charge of your bow, increasing its damage each time. This can charge a weapon up to four times. And guys, seriously, the weapon damage of this is out of this world. If you put this on a Guardian Bow or a Power Bow, I think it's gonna be dealing insane amounts of damage. Nevertheless though, it will still do the trick with a Dynamo. So if we just stand back a little bit from the target dummy, of course, uh, if we charge our bow, you um, will be able to see the normal effect. But right now we can actually hold it longer to charge even more of those things. In the top left of the screen, you can see the multi-charge effect three to three. So right now, if we loosen the arrow, look at that, 3.9 million damage. A regular charge shot is 200k, so you can definitely tell that this is a pretty impressive amount of damage. 3.9 million, man. All right, so let's uh, just travel to the Mushroom Monstrosity level once again, but this time we're gonna do it on the highest Apocalypse Plus difficulty. And I'm gonna quickly switch my speed ring gear so I'll be able to get to this bad boy really fast. While I'm at it, I'm just gonna do a couple of rolls so I'll be able to stack up my dynamo a little bit so we can deal even more damage. All right, so there we go, 20 stacks, guys. Now it's time to summon the boss and show him how much damage we can deal with this. Fully charged, three to three multi-charge, and bam, there we go. Look at that, that's already one fifth of its HP gone without any artifacts. I think it's pretty impressive. This is not even the strongest bow which you can get your hands on. I mean, if you go for a Guardian bow, they have even more powerful charged attacks. If you also go with a power three enchantment and with supercharge, let's say, or a power three, well, then the damage will add up very quickly. But of course, if you just want to one hit kill those mushroom monstrosities anyways, just equip a torment quiver and it will definitely do the job. So here we are once again at the Mushroom Monstrosity Apocalypse level seven plus 25, activating the torment quiver, summoning in this bad boy, charging to the fullest and Bam, look at that. I didn't even see the numbers right there, but I bet the damage was quite impressive. And wow, I actually wanted to check out my damage, but what am I with this score screen? One arrow hit, 100% projectiles hit, and for the rest, zero. Wow, just wow. Anyways, back in the base camp, we're gonna check out the final enchantment, guys. And this one is probably one of the best, if not the very best enchantment, which you can get your hands on starting right now. So we're talking about the luck of the sea. This one increases your luck, which boosts the chance that rare drops become unique. So of course, this is a very awesome thing. If you're searching for those unique weapons and armor and game, searching for those 24 seven, but at the same time, we actually don't even have to leave the base in order to see its potential. Literally, guys, this this one is crazy. And with the sweet tooth, of course, I look like a pretty badass birthday boy, but um, all we have to do is travel to the village merchant. You can do this on pretty much any merchant. It will literally increase your chances of finding uniques with every single thing right here. So uh, of course, if we click on this guy, we have um, a chance to restock. And every time when a rare pops up in this tab, normally you will only find uh, commons and rares, but if a rare pops up right here, it also has a 30% chance of becoming a unique. So Let's just roll, guys. 
So this time we didn't have any luck because uh, these are six common items. None of them were rare, so none of them were able to change into unique. But if we restock once again, look at that. We have three times a rare item, three times 30% chance to turn into a unique. Let's do another restock. Oh man, I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna lose all my emeralds. But um, there we go once again, once again. And this time, bam, we get our hands on two uniques. And one time I actually got my hands on four uniques on this very tab, guys. So it's pretty insane to use this tactic in order to get your hands on uniques so uh, this twin bow is 249 look at that burst bow string supercharge also the refreshment then we also have the slicer right there let's just do one more restock this is gonna hurt but bam once again two uniques so yes you can definitely tell that they pop up quite frequently so um, i think this is a pretty interesting thing for you to do if you want to get your hands on many uniques also we can try this one at the luxury merchant of course this one already gives you some uniques but uh, the chances are quite low and wow this echo of the valley is pretty impressive i'm just gonna buy this one right off the bat but um, after a restock bam we get another one right there let's do another restock Okay, this time we weren't lucky. But uh, you can also do this at the Mystery Merchant. I actually did this this morning and I had a pretty large chance of finding those unique. So first off, we're going to buy this item crate for the armor. Stalwart armor right off the bat, guys. Really awesome. Then another piece of armor. Bam. Um... That was an armor crate, right? Anyways, really great stuff. And then uh, for the bow right here... We just find a regular crossbow. But that was two uniques out of three. Let's do one restock right here. So uh, we have all random items. Pretty interesting. Start off with the armor. Renegade armor. Wow, guys. This is insane. So uh, this time we get a death cap mushroom. Of course, uh, artifacts cannot turn into uniques. But um, you can tell that it is a pretty interesting thing to do. Bam. Look at that. Another fox armor. We just keep finding uniques at the merchants. So um, if you're interested in doing this at uh, the Pickling Merchant, of course it will also work. But right now I'm actually a little bit broke because when I made this Luck of the Sea video, I also did a reroll on the Pickling Merchant and right now I don't have many gold bars left. So um, I think you should just check it out yourself. All right, so guys, then you have it all new enchantments, which you can get your hands on starting right now after the Hidden Dabs DLC update. It would be very much appreciated if you could just hit that like button because I just burned through all my emeralds pretty much to showcase all these things. But um, of course, if you're new to the channel, it would be very nice to have you. So make sure to subscribe. It is entirely free and a lot more Minecraft Dungeons is coming your way. Right now, it's 4 a.m. out. Time to work on my next project. As always, guys, seriously, I'm extremely busy, but I love to do it for the community. You guys are awesome. Guys, have an awesome weekend. I'll see you next time. Peace.